And here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Manchester United up against Aston Villa. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Bruno Fernandes! And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Davi De Gea begins in goal. Marcus Rashford starts with Anthony out wide, and Wout Weghorst is the striker. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Esri Konza starts alongside Tyrone Mings in central defence. Bubakar Kamara starts alongside Douglas Luis in central midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Thank you for attending the Theatre of Dreams. Enjoy the match. And so the battle commences. And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. Casemiro. The possession lost, intercepted. So United restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they come up with an equaliser? Ollie Watkins. Buendia. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Rashford. Veghorst. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, keeper in control. <laughs> and over it comes. And no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Tyrone Mings. Buendia. Ramsey. Emiliano Buendia. Nicely timed tackle. Anthony. Encouraging stuff from United. <laughs> Nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. 
Fernandes. Can he find the net? Not out of the woods yet. Well, nothing untoward happened. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. Emiliano Buendia. On to McGinn. Who can he pick out? And thwarted there following the cross. Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. Playing it in, and it all counts for naught. Well, smuggled behind for another corner. <laughs> and there's the delivery. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Camara. Must be! Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. So, no more time left. That concludes the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, one thing about Bruno Fernandes in this game, Stuart, he's been oddly subdued. Well, I've been disappointed with his game so far. As those touches show us, he just hasn't been getting into the right sort of areas. That's got to improve if they're to get back into this one. So back underway with United looking to plot a route back into this game. The goalkeeper didn't have to work quite as hard as I thought he might initially. Tyrone Mings. And Emiliano Martinez has it. Ramsey. Promising looking attack. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Casemiro. 30 minutes to go then. United could be onto something. Chance to cross. A wilting under the pressure. And now they try to go forward. Trailing, but hope in the form of a corner. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, they're going for the short one. Has a go. And what a close shave it was. Tyrone Mings, Watkins, Ramsey has it, now he must favour the cross, how well, far from the ideal pass you've got to say. Watkins, superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Fred, 
Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Simple catch, really. Five minutes left. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Oh, that's a really good run. This could level it. He can't hold on to it. And a time for calm on the ball. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Space afforded him. And there's the final whistle. The grim news from the Manchester United point of view is that United haven't picked up anything from this game. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed.